Welcome to Draw, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And guys, mm -hmm. Trainer News Day wants to fight. <laughs> Trainer <laughs> News Day <laughs> sends out News Day Mahan. What are you going to send out? I'll send out uh, me to, to draw. Oh, no, the thing. You, you died. You were, Shit. you were weak to it. <laughs> Dang. Julia, I'm, what do you send out? I'm a ghost type now. <laughs> what do you send out, Julia? I don't. You don't? I don't. That was the right answer. You win. Nice. Nonviolence is always the correct answer. <laughs> My indifference has saved me <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> we're doing a Pokemon app. Yay! A Pokemon Newsday, which might be a first. Uh, yeah, I mean, the first Pokemon from memory episode was new in its time, but we didn't have a name for it. Yeah, back then you were just doing new things all the time. Yeah. But now, but now there's a special day just for that, and it's today. It's today, it's this day. We're doing a challenge I cooked up that I like to call the Random Pokemon Challenge. Ooh. We're going to be drawing some new Pokemon today, making them up whole cloth, but not totally whole cloth, because I've set up some nefarious traps in this PSD. Ooh, this is this is a soft whole cloth. Is that is this made from wooloo? Oh, wool? the new sheep. Everybody loves that good sheep. That's good. He's very cute. Yeah. Or she, whichever type you whatever get. Whatever type, whatever, yeah. Um, the way I've got it set up is I've got three folders over there in the layers. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one has uh, 18 layers in it, which are all the, the types. Wow. So you're gonna, I'm gonna random number you okay. from that one, and then the middle one contains the secondary type. Okay. And then the third one is an animal that you have to apply those types to Amazing. to make the Pokemon. Wonderful. Um, so Nathan, your first type mm -hmm. is gonna be number 13. Lucky 13. Lucky 13. Fighting. fighting. A fighting. Your second type mm -hmm. is gonna be number eight. Ground. Oh, ground fighting. That's a type of fighting. <laughs> yeah. Fighting ground. I think that's the new battle royale. <laughs> fighting ground fighting, battle royale. Fighting ground battle royale. <laughs> uh, and your animal, number seven. A fighting ground ferret. It's a fighting ground ferret. Can I look up what a ferret looks like? I have no problem with that. Okay. I'm willing to allow that. I have a problem with I know that. there's a, a Pokemon called ferret, but that's a normal type. That's a normal type, which may as well just not exist. <laughs> Uh, a strong ferret, what fights? Yes, and, and is and is ground and is ground. It emerges from the ground mm -hmm. to fight you. Okay, so we're gonna do. Let's get some ground. Let's start with some ground. Ground is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Do ferrets wild ferrets? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do they exist? Yeah. That. Yeah. Do they do they go underground? Do I they live they in go the ground. In things. Yeah, they live in little holes. They in live trees. in little holes. There's ermines as well. Yeah, is that Which a ferret? Like, it's like a ferret. Yeah, and it looks stoats. Looks exactly like a, a ferret. And mar stoats. and martins. Mar Martin. Yeah. yeah. Stoats and martins, ermines, and uh... why do you guys know so many types of ferrets? I'm well, a Golden Compass fan, my dude. Yeah, they're all different daemons, all different mailer daemons. Daemons. You can have stoats. Mm -hmm. Can't drink those. I know them. Stout. I know them from Wind in the Willows because all the different weasel adjacent. Uh, animals take over Toad Hall when Mr. Toad goes to jail for being a fucking idiot. For being a drunk driver. For being a, <laughs> a drunk asshole. For being a drunk asshole who gets everyone killed. Yeah, the most unrealistic thing about Wind in the Willows is uh, not the talking animals, it's that a uh, wealthy person gets held uh, accountable for their actions. Damn, commentary. Yeah. For the modern day. Yeah. Take that. Society. Take that society. Drawfee strikes another blow. We're gonna change things around here. Yeah, yeah. Starting with this fighting ferret. Yeah, let's give it like um some of them fighting fighting eyes that Pokemon have sometimes. Like oh, kind of like the primate. Like a primate eyes. Like a primate eyes. They get angry anime human eyes. Yeah. When they want to fight. Oh yeah, he's PO'd. Let's he's PO'd and TO'd. Let's give him. Uh, and you're about to get KO'd. Give him the this bandage. looks like a long diglet. Yeah, this does look like a long diglet. <laughs> this is this is my new Pokemon long diglet. <laughs> Diglet's too short. Get I want to know. Up there. Get Diglet up there. Let him reach. This up is so Diglet can he can get up at your eye level, and and stare you down now. 
The only thing that keeps Diglett from being threatening is that he's too down. He's too down there. This guy looks like he's just come out of the ground to complain at you. Yeah. <laughs> he. I mean, there are lots of different ways you can fight. Every damn day, walking over my ground, shaking my living room. I'm gonna pour, report you to the neighborhood association that I started. This uh, ground fighting ferret fights within the system. Yeah. You know. He looks like he has a little military haircut now. <laughs> he does kind of look like a military ferret. Oh, <laughs> let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a decision here. Make a decision. Big mouth. Big mouth. Good, <laughs> yes, appropriate decision. All the better to be angry with. Make the head big to match. Big mouth, big head. Here we Long go. Long diglet. You know, this is a design process. Yeah, this is the same <laughs> process they use at Game has Freak. A huge jaw. <laughs> We're trying what stuff. What is this? <laughs> We're trying stuff out. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're trying stuff out. Right now, it just looks like you've buried a, a grown man and his neck and head are coming out. <laughs> Maybe that's what he is. He's got a really long neck. Yeah. yeah here we go. Let's a see. long, strong neck. I served in the military far too long for you to be shaking my house. <laughs> shaking my house underground. I'm a I general. I served my country. What did you do? What did you do? Fought some animals. That's what you're doing. Putting little bow ties on animals. I didn't serve in the military for, oh damn, this bow tie actually looks really it's, nice. It's pretty cute. I like it. I'm not gonna lie, Thanks. it's pretty cute. Maybe someone, if someone put a bow tie on me, I wouldn't be so angry. <laughs> and maybe I'd come out of the ground. The ground is a metaphor for his entrenched political positions. Yeah. He definitely has like a bunch of signs in his yard of like which, you know, councilman you should vote for or whatever. <laughs> his underground yard. Yeah, his underground yard. Vote Diglett. <laughs> He'll keep the community grounded. Not like that airhead Articuno. It's all show. It's all show and flash. Legendary Pokemon. That just means he doesn't show up most of the time. <laughs> What's so legendary down. about him? What did he do? Where did he serve? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just lives in a volcano. <laughs> Nothing legendary about that, Groudon. He's too good to live with the common people. <laughs> Living in his volcano. No one else lives in that volcano. <laughs> He's not a fighter for the people is what I'm saying. For the Pokemon. For the for the pokes. I'm in it for the pokes. Nathan, he, the, this is not how a ferret's body. <laughs> <laughs> What's the body like under there? We don't he know. Has two sun this is, ferrets this is where... flanking him wearing <laughs> boxing gloves over their heads. This is where the, the fan art community can really come, they come can in. They really shine. Yeah. Did I do it? I don't know. Did you? You did, you did something. We have to come up with a name for him. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's a ferret that fights. A fighting ferret. A fighting ground ferret. An underground. An underground. Resistance. Resistance ferret. His name is und Undermine. Undermine. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Nathan, he's Undermine. He's Undermine. He's under your feet and he's undermining your, your position. Yeah, and he's an ermine. And he's an ermine. He's digging out the... The supports under your house. Yeah. Because you don't keep your yard clean enough and he hates it. This is undermine. This is undermine. <laughs> Great job, Nathan. Thank you've, you. You've made a Pokemon <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's get a Pokemon for Jacob. Why don't we? Let's. So my first type is number 10, which is Ghost. My first type is Ghost. Sweet. Ghost is one of my favorite types. It's a good type. Uh, my second type is number three, not ground, rock. A ghost rock. Ghost rock. Ghost rock. My favorite oh. music. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds rad. <laughs> and finally, let's get my animal. Number six. six. Whale. Ghost rock whale. <laughs> ghost rock whale. Hmm. Ghost rock whale. I've got some things to consider here. Yeah. You know what I have to consider? What? No one ever talks about ghost whales. You know what I mean? No one ever talks about like the ghost animals, no like ghost ever... cows. No ghost one birds. ever talks about ghost way. I mean, you're right. Everyone always talks about ghosts being human, but what about the ghosts? What about whales that had unfinished business? Yeah, they were gonna I, eat all I that krill. They assume that whales, animals' business is usually finished because they don't like. Yeah. Have things they want to do per se. Oh, animals definitely have things that they want to do, like take revenge on shitty humans. You know, there are killer whales, but what about all the killed whales? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What about? You know? I'm going to make a circle. You do that. You've done it. <laughs> Show off. 
I don't make... mean to show off. Mm. But that, looks, I... that looks like a tasty piece of mochi. Yeah, you want to take a bite out you of this. You want to take a bite out of those Jacob circles, those little dumplings. A ghost rock whale. I think yeah. I'm going to start ghost with- rock whale. He's got stars <laughs> in his eyes. Perhaps like a little ghosty tail. Yep. This sure. looks like a sperm. It does. That's, that's okay. Keep that's going. A, that's all ghost Pokemon at the start. But I'm. It's gonna get better. Yeah. It's gonna get better as we as we Wait, move on. Is it a sperm whale? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ghost of a a whale that was never uh never reached the egg, a whale sperm that never reached the egg. A sperm whale sperm. A sperm whale sperm. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> no. Not that. This is the. This is now a map of the digestive tract. Yeah, I think. we're gonna see how things get digested in the stomach. Well, I think yeah, we're gonna whale tail it up here. Jacob, I do have to say that uh, I've noticed in a lot of the recent videos your strategy um, with the drawings is just to make an interesting shape and go from there, and I really like it. It's a it's Thank a fun you. way of of visual problem solving because you end up with something interesting looking. At the very least. At the very least. It it's... doesn't need to necessarily <laughs> represent anything that exists in life, but I'm like, oh, this is a fun shape. This is a unique silhouette. Yeah, that's something. Mine looks like a Doug Trio that uh, got separated a little bit if you if you were to silhouette it. Oh, that's cool. This is like a, it's like a, a kelp kind of. It's yeah, like sort a of, kelpy. Sort of, sort of a kelp vibe. Ghost whale. With unfinished business, yeah. Maybe the ghost. I'm trying to figure out how to how to get rock in here. I was yeah. thinking, like, what if the rock, like the ghost, is around a rock? Okay. Isn't there a Pokemon that does that though already? That has a ghost around a rock. It's like a rock with like a like goop, like ghost goop around it. Are you thinking of Renucleus? I might be. He could be one of them underwater volcanoes. You know, all that all that underwater lava rock. Oh, yeah, like yeah, one of them, yeah. one of them <clears throat> vents, one of them yeah. deep sea vents. He, so, like little bits could be like floating in him. That's lava rock, and then you can shoot him out of his. It's tricky clear. because so the, like, yeah. the the typing, the fact that it has to be a whale that doesn't have the water typing is tricky. Yeah. So maybe this guy's not even underwater at all. Yeah. Like it's in it's in the the ghostly uh, ectoplasm. It swims through. Maybe is, is this the ghost of a living whale, or are, is it just sort of like a spirit creature that exists in the spirit world and resembles a whale? I mean, it could also be that, right? I'd like to think that it's a the ghost of a whale that really wanted to see land. Oh. I'm going to explore. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this whale didn't want to be a water whale. Yeah, no, it wanted to be back on land. It's like a Little Mermaid, you know. She wanted to be where people were. Yeah. Maybe this whale wanted to be where the I people love how are. How wiggly yeah. this whale is. This is a wiggly whale, a wiggly ghost whale. Yeah. It needs rock stuff, though. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. I'm starting with ghost whale. We're starting with ghost whale. We're gonna get some rocks. Yeah, let's get. Because maybe because rocks can also be like gemstones, you know. Like you don't—they don't have to be jagged rocks. They could be elegant, beautiful rocks. Oh, is that the? <laughs> That's where the other eye goes. Oh, good. <laughs> this is um, this is trap inch, but a whale. It kind of does look like trap inch, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the thing about Pokemon is they they already made them all, and then they they kept going. Okay, I've got an idea. Great. He's really into rock music. Oh, that's fun. Uh, no, he hates rock music. Oh. And he hates when people make that <laughs> comparison. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine this whale hating anything. The only thing he hates <laughs> is rock music. This looks, looks think, so amicable. I think like clam style. He's, oh, got, he's got a, a precious little, gem. Got a little precious gem in there. Inside. And maybe this is a Pokemon that like. Does the gem have a face? Does it have second face? Oh, I do love second face. I was going to say the gem like represents the typing. Uh -huh. Like the ghost wells can be a variety of types. Oh, that's cool. And if it's like a rock, you know, a brown gym it's like a rock mm -hmm. type and something like that how do you draw a gym you did it that was good you just sort of then you have to sort of facet it yeah it needs to have bit. more facets i draw, think is draw the, like, the issue here draw like steven universe's tummy oh of course steven universe's tummy it's a gem in there the answer to all problems it is a gem in there so yeah this is like going to be in here and i think like when i color this like this will be all dark back behind it yeah 
and then it'll be it'll be glowing out so that the light's kind of like leaking out from the mouth. Like when he opens the mouth, the light all leaks out. And that's the weak spot also. Does Jem have second face? Jem does not have second face. Okay. I've decided. Okay. I've decided. That was, that was just an idea. You don't have to take all my ideas. And then I want some of those like whaley, what is it, the baleen? Yeah, the baleen. That's like this this shit that whales have instead of teeth. Yeah. They have like just like drippies. They catch fish. They catch the, the brine shrimp. If you watch the uh, the episode of Cartoon Hell with Adam Conover, he talks extensively about baleen and uh, filter feeders and how they use them to catch brine shrimp. And uh, if you ever wanted to be delighted, I, I think uh, Adam Conover saying brine shrimp is- <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. That did it for me. That'll do the trick for you. Brine shrimp. That's my impression. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, but you got to see the real thing. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing like the actual. Sign up for Dropout and watch the whole episode. We're getting there. We're getting there in this design process, Nathan. As you said, it's a design process. Yes. Let me get his other little, little flipper. I can't remember what any words are today. Can't remember words for ferrets. Can't remember what a flipper is or a fin. I remembered baleen, of all things. Ba- Baleen's great. Baleen, 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 Baleen. I'm begging of you, please catch those brown shrimp. <laughs> what what could make this more Pokemon? Oh, he needs a blowhole. He needs a blowhole. And it needs to be shooting rocks. It needs to be shooting rocks. Boop. It's gonna be kind of like he a little uses... volcano hole. Oh, that's great. Now it looks like he's wearing a little hat. Is his blowhole is his hat. Oh, I like this guy. Okay, now I just need a name. Something that's yeah. ghostly mm-hmm. and whaley mm-hmm. and rocky. Whale wisp. Oh, that's cute. It doesn't have anything to do with rock, but I like whale wisp. I'm gonna go with whale wisp. I the, think that's very cute. The other option I was thinking of was bulbuga, because uh, boo, no, like ghost I don't. Go boo. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not taking that one. I already took one. You didn't need to give me. I another wanted one. to give you options. I don't want options because I'm your friend. I want Whale O Wisp. Whale O Wisp, my new favorite Pokemon. He's hiding a gem in his mouth. Please don't take it. <laughs> Julia, are you ready to hop in and do me. one? Me. It's me time. Hello, it's Jacob. Me. It's me time. It's me now. It's Julia's time. It's me. Nathan, time. it's Julia's time. Please be respectful. Okay, it's sorry. It's me time. Give me numbers. Julia, on your time, for your time here on this earth. For my time. I'd like to spend some of it drawing. My time to shine. Shine. Hey, that was a good reference. Yay. Way to go. 15. Okay. Electric. Electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Nice. (laughs) Your second type. Yeah. Five. Electric poison. Wow. Uh, Another very good genre of music. Yeah. That uh, sounds dope. Ghost rock and electric poison. Electric poison. Electric poison is my favorite ghost rock band. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for your animal, it's number four. God. Sloth. <laughs> electric poison sloth. Amazing. That's a good combination what a of gift. things. That's a treasure and a gift. All right. You can pull up what a sloth looks like if you'd nope, like to. Nope. Not gonna. <laughs> Please don't draw a man. <laughs> That's my only request. Julia's going to draw the uh, the the deadly sin embodied. <laughs> Julia's going to draw Sloth from Full Metal Alchemist with electric poison powers. Are there any electric poison Pokemon? I don't know. Not that I can think of. But there's a lot of things I don't know. Yeah, electric and poison. That's a fun combo. It'd be super weak to ground. Yeah. What would like an electric poison be? I feel like it would it would have to be sort of a paralysis thing because when you get electrocuted, it paralyzes you. Yeah, paralysis is basically electricity poisoning. Yes. When you have too much of it. Well, you've drawn a very cute face. Oh, look at this friend. But he doesn't at present look like he wants to electrocute or poison. Do slots look like they want to do anything? I suppose they don't. And there's some pretty good sloth Pokemon um, already. Are there? Yeah. Okay. There's one that's my favorite. I don't remember the names of anything, but Nathan, you'll know. Mm-hmm. What's the sloth Pokemon? Is the first evolution and he just lays there on his stomach? It's it's Slackoth. Slackoth. Which evolves into Vigoroth. 
which evolves into slacking. Yeah, slacking or, or is slate or slaking. Slaking, really chilling. But that first one, slack off. Yeah, he's cute. What do sloth back This sloth is do? fucking curvy. This is a, this yeah. a, this is a thick ass this sloth. Is an absolute unit. Sloths uh, are damn. units, man. Slack off. I have to look up what sloth back legs look like. I would like what you've done. <laughs> I like what is. you've done here. This, this is. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> he's just laying there scratching his dumb head. <laughs> he's like, I don't, I don't know. Don't are know. we doing a battle? What are we doing? We don't have to. We don't have to. It's really up to you, man. I forgot that they have like these. Mm hmm. <laughs> These frowns. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not connected, huh? These little eyes. They have the, yeah, it's sort of like that. <laughs> yeah. This sloth is so thick, I can't take it. Look at the booty on this sloth. <laughs> yeah. Look at those haunches. Yeah. That's pretty great. You want to so, taste of my electric poison? <laughs> my poison. <laughs> and you're like, you're so enticed. Yeah, I'm like, I kind of do. It's like, I don't, I kind of. It sounds, ba electric poison sounds bad, but look at you. Yeah, look at you, it can't be that bad. Yeah, look at this treat. I'm looking at a reference of a sloth now, and I still can't tell what their back legs are doing. They're so, just little. They have big long uh, arms and little back legs. They're just legs. sort of curved okay. around some sort okay. of a, a, a branch. Little legs. They got little kickers. <laughs> wow, it's so fat. <laughs> Look at these tubbies. I just want to take a bite out of this sloth. I just want to nibble on them. But you shouldn't because it's poison. It's po Maybe that's what its move is. You want to get a nibble in. Yeah, it entices you. And then you get shocked by the, the electrical yeah. liquids it secretes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even fight at all. It's going to drool in its own eye. Yeah, probably. It doesn't care. Is it holding on to anything? Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 Maybe a power line. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'd love to know what you're thinking. But you're not telling me. Oh, he's, me. he's sticking his <laughs> finger in a little outlet? <laughs> is the outlet on the ceiling? <laughs> or is this just the perspective that we're looking at? It'll all be made clear in time. <laughs> Well, we must trust in Julia. I do trust in Julia, but we're also doing a, a internet program. <laughs> no, we just sit here silently <laughs> yeah. wait for Julia to. I mean, we could start brainstorming names for this friend. Yeah, we could do that. Something like three toed or two toed. Mm. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why does he have a buzz cut? <laughs> oh, he's, he shocked himself. He shocked himself. He looks like he just like joined the military. <laughs> We got two military. He got a Pokemon. military tattoo. He's just his first sticking out, you know. Is he just laying on the ground holding <laughs> a cord? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know if this Pokemon is dead or alive when it comes out of the the Pokeball, but you're like, I super don't want to touch it because it's probably poisonous at this point, and also like. But also, I have to touch it. I think it's still connected to some sort of. Electrical current? I'm not really sure what's going on. So they're all plugged into a outlet that they're carrying with them. Yeah. And the wire just kind of stretches off. Well, maybe it's like... Back to where they were born. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's connected to like a little generator, you know? They didn't want to separate it from its generator uh -huh. that, that it loves so much. You know? This is just a sloth this is just a being electrocuted. Yeah, and someone looked at it and was like... That's a Pokemon. I need a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, this one. This is my Pokemon. And Professor Oak's just like, you pick the one thing in this world that's actually not a Pokemon. <laughs> you just I don't know a, how a you managed to, <laughs> to do this thing, but you did it. Congrats, I guess. Julia knows how to draw a generator. Very I good. It's <laughs> a box with a lightning bolt on it. <laughs> okay. That's basically what they are. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> His name is Slock. What? Sloth plus shock. Is slock. 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 That's what it's, <laughs> it's saying. Slock. 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 <laughs> I think is this... that its name or is it hurting? I think his, his Pokemon name is actually just a series of question marks. And I'm like, is it a Pokemon? Do we name it? Slock. Just... Slock. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, I 
They got teeth, right? Whatever. I mean, probably, but. That's fine. They don't use him for anything other than munching leaves. And what's the poison? Because he's he's super dead, and you probably shouldn't touch him. Oh, so okay. it's like the, for the same reason you shouldn't touch like roadkill. I yeah. see. It just okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a dead electrified sloth. Yeah. And the sound of like the That's air escaping uh... his body makes a sound like sloth. <laughs> Swaw. What a what a bummer of a Pokemon. Yeah, this Pokemon is a real downer. <laughs> I'm not the one who picked electric poison sloth. I feel like you didn't have to go this. You didn't have to murder this <laughs> you didn't animal have to kill a sloth. <laughs> it could have embraced the poison. Yeah. Don't embrace the poison. Children, if there's one thing <laughs> Drawfee has to tell you, it's don't embrace the poison. Yeah, I guess this is more of a cautionary tale. Yeah. yeah. Don't stick your fingers in outlets, kids, or else you'll end up like the slock. <laughs> <laughs> the electro poison sloth. Yeah. Everyone's favorite Pokemon, now more popular than Pikachu. <laughs> Can you imagine if this was what Ash started <laughs> with instead of Pikachu? Just, uh... I guess I'm gonna go back to school. Slaw. Professor, it stinks. I'm, I'm sad now and I don't wanna go on an adventure anymore. I'm really not in the mood. I'm thinking about mortality and <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm just gonna go back to school. I don't know, maybe become an accountant. I'll get a degree in something. Something other than this. Yeah, something where I get to be as far away from this as possible. <laughs> there you go. Great job, Slog. Julia, I guess. <laughs> you did a job, Julia. I did a job. Uh, thanks for playing my fun Pokemon <laughs> adventure game with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got Just three. Just thinking about the arc of Julia's drawing, where she started <laughs> with this adorable face and slowly murdered this <laughs> thing. She brought this thing into existence only to murder only it. Only to kill it, yeah. yeah. As, as soon as it came in, we were all excited about the thick sloth. Everyone was having <laughs> Everyone, a great time. The whole internet loved thick sloth. <laughs> And you killed it before killed their very it. eyes. You killed it before anyone could stop you. Yeah. Before anyone knew what was happening. <laughs> You're truly a monster uh, and not of the pocket variety. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been <laughs> Newsday Random Pokemon Challenge. The Thick Sloth is dead. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Hey, thanks for watching that episode of Drawfee. If you like Drawfee and the stuff we make, the best way to support us is by signing up for Dropout. For around the cost of a jug of mouthwash a month, you get access to Drawfee episodes a week early, as well as a exclusive Dropout Discord where you can chat with me. And you get access to the Dropout exclusive shows like Cartoon Hell, I Made That Show, I'm um, Actually, which I was on, and Rank Room, which I was also on. It's a good time. Start your free trial. Go to dropout.tv. Please. Please. <laughs>